McGillicuddy? And I'm green. <laughs> well, Mr. Green, it appears that we have a conflict of financial interest to settle up, to the extent that I owe you 10 American dollar bills. But as luck would have it, I only seem to have a 20. Say, Mr. Green, would you happen to have change for a 20? That is to say, do you have two tens for this $20 bill? Uh, yes, I do. Fine, then. I'll give you the 20. You give me the two tens, and we'll call it even. Uh, no. Actually, we've just exchanged equal amounts of money. You still owe me 10. <laughs> But isn't that a $20 bill in your hand? Yes. And how much did I owe you? Ten. Well, it looks to me like you owe me ten dollars! Please give me my money. Just take it! <laughs> Mr. Green, guess who I ran into on the way to the theater this evening? Who? Rhonda, the former professional hunchback. Oh, did she get her back straightened? No, she's just out of work. Oh, so her back isn't better then? No, she's just out of work. That's terrible. Say, Mr. Green, I hear you manage a baseball team. No. I'm a vaudevillian. No, I think you manage a baseball team. Yes, of course, yes, I do manage a baseball team. Well, I hear the players nowadays have rather strange nicknames, rather silly pet names the players have nowadays. Yes, that's true. Oh, as a matter of fact, I have the team roster with me right here. Mm. For example, who is on first base, what is on second, and I didn't know is on third base. Who's on first? Yes. Who? Yes. Who is the man on first base? Why are you asking me? I'm asking you. What's the name of the guy on first base? No, no. What is on? Oh, I see what your problem is. <laughs> Look, you're confused by their names because they all sound like questions. <laughs> Well, I'll explain it to you. You see, on first base is who? Samuel who? And you're probably not used to that name because his grandfather was Chinese. And on second base is Hector Watt, W-A-T-T -T Watt. And that's not such an odd name because James Watt invented the steam engine. And on third base is Phil Idano, I-D-U-N-O, Idano. But if you say that fast, it does sound like the phrase, gee, I don't know. But it's actually Idano, Phil Idano. <laughs> It. You're hopeless. You're pathetic. You're the worst straight man I've ever seen. I quit! I should have never saved you from those seals. What seals? I auditioned for this job. Bastard! Get off the stage, Green! No, she's just out of work. No, you give me back my $10. That's right, I got you two ten dollars right here. Yes. Whoa, whoa. Give me money, family eater. Whoa. Just do the act, you samurai bastard. Give me money. I should have never saved you from those seals. What a seals? I auditioned for this. Ah! Ah,